Hello everyone, welcome to Definite Mind. In this figure, there is a square and a semicircle and a triangle are inscribed, and we have to find the area of this red triangle. I recommend you to solve this first yourself, then watch the solution completely. Okay. Now I am going to solve this. To solve this question first, we need to draw a line from center of this semicircle to vertex of this square. Now you can see this is a right angle triangle. This is also a right angle triangle. So these two triangles are actually congruent. How? You can see this is the square side length whose value is actually 10. So this should be 5. And this is the radius. So it should be also 5. And this is 10. And according to question, the side length of a square is equal to side length of this triangle. So it is also 10. And by Pythagoras theorem, we can find the hypotenuse length, which is 5 root 5. So by side sides, right, you can see these two triangles are concurrent to each other. If I consider this angle is theta, then by default this angle is theta also. And this angle is actually 90 minus theta, 2 theta. Because whole angle is 90, so that's why this angle is 90 minus 2 theta. And sine ninety minus theta two theta equal to cos two theta and cos two theta equal to by trigonometry cos square theta minus sine square theta. Okay. And in this triangle, cos theta equal to base by hypotenuse, base is 10 and hypotenuse is 5 root 5. And sin theta equal to perpendicular by hypotenuse. This means 125, 525, 25 into 5. Four times this means four by five minus one by five three by five cos two theta equal to now area of red triangle equal to one by two into product of this two side actually this length is also ten so 10 into 10 and into ang sine of angle this that is 90 minus 2 theta but sine 90 minus 2 theta is cos 2 theta and cos 2, th 2 theta value is 3 by 5 so I will put where a value so right answer is 30 square unit Thanks for watching this video and please like, share and subscribe this channel also.